Go crazy. For real, for real, for real. That was, that was hey, kicking fat, game right now. Yeah. Fat be doing that his shit, got man. it, man. He do yeah. his shit. And he's also a great businessman. Don't get it fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He talk, got it going out there let's, in Oakland, let's, man. Let's Jack talk, let's talk trades. about what you got going right there, man. For people who don't know about Dope Era, the whole movement, the um the investments. Yeah. The shit that's outside of rap that people, you know what I'm saying? Cause they need to see that where we come from. They think you just gotta rap and Nah. You know what I mean? And if you ain't rapping, you fell off. Yeah, you trash. You know what I'm saying? Now that you can podcast. Nah, it's play it's, sports. It's dope, man. Um, but like I tell people all the time, man, my philosophy is it's never me, it's always we. Um, my squad is is definitely, man, very supportive in the things that we do. But we have uh probably the biggest retail clothing store in uh in the Bay Area. That's all solely independent us. The dope air clothing store where we don't um we don't sell nobody else clothes in the store. It's just us, man. Um, of course, we allow our folks to do pop-up shops and things like that. But even throughout the pandemic, to be able to survive that at a retail store where we watch so many major entities go, you know, go right. close their businesses for us to still be open and uh, create the things that we do, man, it means a lot, huh? Without, without, we, we, we mm. with no website, yeah, like we, we close yeah. our website now yeah. just based off the fact of we force people to have to come rock with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you rock in Dope Era, you got it from us. You pulled up. Like, you got it from uh, Unk sold it to yeah, you or right, Lil' yeah. Cuz sold it to you. Like, you got it. Or, you you know, you didn't tap in on the Instagram and stuff like that. But we've created our own ecosystem um, where the whole dope era, all the members, they they lock in with us. So that's just the clothing store. Um, we have a nightclub. Or the nightclub named it after my mother, Club Desi. So our nightclub is, mm -hmm. is we've been privileged to be, like, if, if this is our clothing store where I'm sitting, where AD at is the nightclub. So right oh. across the street. Is the nightclub uh, where you know Unk does all his Unk festivities thing, man? If y'all know what festivities, <laughs> Escahos, hey, Escahos, all the Escahos, man, all the Escahos, you know, Unk love them scruples, yeah. and uh, we do all you know the the, the scruples and all the stuff like that, man. Where y'all want to come have a have a good time, and um, we got a dope era museum, which yeah. is a a collective canvas that teaches uh, children about uh, augmented reality and artificial intelligence intertwined with digital art, which is called Fidgetal in the Web3. Mm. Uh, we continue to create that as an edutainment canvas for people to be to explore different exhibits, teaching Bay Area culture, teaching uh, an experience from the dope era. Uh, we, we created that. That launches uh, in the spring, but we do like selected parties there, themed parties, as well as opening it up for a peer space for people to have like a selfie museum for them to come out and do the things in that nature. A um, couple, nail, couple nail shops we own. And um, just other different businesses, man, um, this, uh, in our community work, and our charity work. Unc has an organization called Creating Change. And we have our, you know, the Dope Air Activities and Dope Air Academy, where the school opens up in August of teaching entrepreneurialism and other things of sustainability, of sh showing these kids that, like we said in the aforementioned, what you can be after utilizing your platform. Some people can, right. can, content can, can continue a rap career. And then some people can utilize the proceeds that they've received from their rap career and plant other seeds. And so into in the planting of our other seeds, these are the things that have grown uh, in a maturation of more things are to come as we continue to flourish. And the trajectory of which we headed, man, is just businessman. Yeah. That's For beautiful. real. That's what That's it's That's beautiful. He was cooking. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was cooking. I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the list don't stop. Nah, yeah, That's man. We, we doing a lot of work, man. And it's... um. It's just a blessing, man, to sit back and see where we've come from. Yeah. You know, there are many people that will, um, sometimes, like my uncle said, man, they'll smut you out to cut you out. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Tell me about it. People, 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 people will make you seem like, my grandmother used to always say, baby, they'll, they'll bury you before you actually die. So by the time it come your real funeral, nobody cries. Mm. Mm. Because you already been dead to them. They didn't already killed you. That's dark. So y'all got to realize that, man. There's some people in this life that's going to smut you out to cut you out. They're going to throw all the dirt on your name just so they could get you out the way. You know what I mean? Mm. But you got you to gotta, talk gotta, about it. You got to you gotta, you gotta have that focus, man, and, 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 and to continue to keep going. And the resilience as well as courage to actually be what you said that you are in the face of adversity, man, and fight. And Lord knows that I've had my challenges and my adversity in this career. Um, it's been a long time and it's been a long while and it's just uh things don't always go your way, man. But to still be able to say, bro, I'm staying on my path no matter what. Through the hatred, through the through the through the restraint, through the constraints, through all of the stuff, man, that prevent you from getting to where you envision yourself, 
to still be able to be here, to still be coming down, chopping it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Still, still Real living shit. life. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. that's, it's a blessing, bro. And I'm so thankful, man. You know, my story, uh, God get all the glory. For real. Mm. For real, for yeah. real. That part. He giving, hey, to everybody over there at Caffeine, this is free game that's right free here. Game. Come on, come on. Come free on, man. game. That's a real Bay legend, man. Real Bay legend, man. Come on, man. Come went on, through man. Like I said again, he went through it, some motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Yeah, like that nigga Ho said, man. Man, I told you that, so hopefully that you nigga? wouldn't have to go through that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. My nigga, oh, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah this my, even, my nigga, hold right here. My nigga hold right here, man. Yeah, my nigga hold right here. He told me, man. Nigga, I told you that. So, <laughs> nigga, so hopefully you wouldn't have to go through that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, man, like, you know, I've been a, um, man, in, in, in my career, man, I didn't have so many ups and downs in that shit, man. And I didn't, you know, my resilience, man, to just keep going, man. My resilience is, you know, if brilliance was a person. Like, bro, you got to keep going, bro. I done been banned from the radio. I done been dropped from mm. labels. I done been, you know, excommunicated from the industry, from the cool circle. I done did a lot of that stuff, man. But still to be able to still be here, man, still pulling up and, you know, Rolls Royce trucks and Lamborghinis and, you know, Maserati, all that shit, man, you know. And it's ours, though, you feel me? Still being able to do that, man. You know, big houses and all the other shit that they told us that we couldn't have, man, you know. That's cool, man. It ain't, you know, it ain't, it's a blessing. It ain't like... It ain't bragging, man. You know, you learn right. to, you you learn to win without bragging and complain and lose without nagging. You know, mm. I'm gonna take it on the chin with a grin, no matter what. You feel me? That'd be my whole thing. If I lose, nigga, I take it on the chin with a grin. I ain't finna be complaining about a loss, nigga. That lets you know I tried and I gave my full effort, nigga. Every loss is a lesson. Oh my mama, and I show Every up with all my shit. I show up with all my scars showing. You feel me? And all my blemishes, nigga. You ain't got to worry about me. Talking about, man, trying to candy coat that shit. Just like when you say freestyle, nigga, I might stutter. I might mess up, nigga. But that lets you know I'm really coming off the, you feel me? Yeah. So, you feel me? That's how we rocking. Ready for war. On G-O-D. That's crazy. For real. All right, so I just got a text from a good friend of ours, man. Uh Uh-oh. You know what I'm saying? Our good friend, Stretch. Yes, sir. He said, say Stretch said tell the Sway in London story. The funniest shit in the world. (laughs) (laughs) The funniest shit in the world, cuz. Like, so people might hear Sway and think Sway Calloway from MTV, and that's not who we're talking about. We was on tour in London, and it's a rapper from out there named Sway. And um, dude met us at the hotel. He's like, man, I'm happy to have you here, man. It's nothing but love, man. We got a lot of love for you, my dude. And uh, we want to uh, hang out, man. Go kick it. <laughs> and uh, we like, yeah, we with it. Like, man, you want to go to the studio? And, and we like, oh, the studio, are we cool with that? So I'm like, where the studio at? So he say where the studio was, and this where I should have spotted it, right? Let me go on that, AD. But my spider senses wasn't on back then like they is now, right? So when he said it, his partner was like, whoa. They're like, they're, they're no other studios? So basically, he was like, we going to the other side. We going to the other hood. Like, yeah. And his homeboy was like, hold on, like... <laughs> like what you mean we going over there? He like like who like who like where old, where old buddy at? Like we don't got that studio. <laughs> so he looked at us and he like nah man we good man we good we good man no worries we good man. So I'm like oh yeah, we good now mind you at the time you already know man I was two chains before two chains right you can even go ask Titty. Um, <laughs> so I'm dumb icy right in London. I say uh I look at turf talk I tell him I say turf hey man. I'm finna go up to the room and go put this jury up. He say, say, my nigga, we in London. My nigga, what you try to say? My nigga, listen, check this out. One thing I've learned, nigga, is everybody got a hood. Everybody. Real shit. And, and nigga, every, it's a, it's, the world is a ghetto. Yeah. And, 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 and nigga, and, you know, the rich are preyed on upon those that are in poverty all the time. Hmm. And so you got to be mindful. I don't give a fuck where we at. He looked at me, he's like, you right, you right. He like, all right, well, shit, let me, I'm gonna go put my shit up. So, we go in the room. We go put our our jury up or whatever, you know. Hey, don't don't. Hey, man. We get back in the car. We go to the studio. I'ma speed shit up. We in the studio. We at the studio. He like, man, I'm finna go to the gas station. Y'all wanna come? I'm like, yeah, man. It's hot as fuck in this motherfucker. I'ma walk down there. We walk to the gas station. I'm sitting up. We chilling. We high at the time. I look across the street and I'm like, man, this project. This shit look crazy. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, you know, looking. A big nigga come out. Big nigga about your size, pun. And nigga come to the edge of the project gate, right? He look over at the gas station. He looking. Now, and I'm looking with my hood eyes. So I'm like, man, there's some shit going on. <laughs> I'm like, man. So I tell my nigga, Ant. I'm like, hey, Ant. I'm like, come check it out. He like, what? 
I'm like, bro, peep the scene, gang. You know, I'm like, peep the scene, check game. He looking. So they send a young nigga across the street. The young nigga come across the street smiling. He like, ha ha, Americans. <laughs> he like, he's like, I'm Americans. He said, Americans. I swear to God, right? It's on God and all his kids. So then he like, uh, for real. So he like, ha the Americans. He walked back across the street. So he go to the big home. like, nigga, this I'm thinking, imagining what he's saying. He's like, nigga, them some Americans. It's a lick. Them niggas, they, they, we own them. Yeah. He like, for real? Boom. Nigga, 20 niggas come to the side. I'm like, oh, sh-. I'm like, aunt, bro, let's roll, cuh. Let's roll. I'm like, bro, let's go, bro. Mama's, bro. He like, he like, bro, you tripping, bro. We in London. I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck where we at, bro. I know who my spidey senses is, is working, bro. It's not, it's finna go down. <laughs> so we walking. Next thing I know, them niggas start coming out the projects. One nigga walk, this nigga walking like Freddie, bro, or like Jason. You know how Jay, like this nigga. He Michael Myers where he don't look like he's speeding up, but it seemed like we slowing down, so he getting closer. <laughs> so I'm like, I tell Ann, I'm like, Ann, friend, them niggas coming. He say, yep, and he going in his bag. I'm like, oh, it's bro. Over. It's I'm over. like, oh, this some bullshit. So we walking. This nigga catch up to us. He like, hey, 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 who from here? <laughs> this nigga say, who from around here? I keep walking. I'm like, Talking to me. I'm scared as fuck though. I ain't gonna lie. Heart beating a million miles a minute, right? I'm like, oh my God. That nigga turn around. He say, hey man, it's me, man. I'm good. I'm from here. What is your name? <laughs> I said, man, it's Sway. That nigga said, Sway? <laughs> <laughs> you Sway? Whatever that nigga had in that bag, my nigga, he hit this nigga so hard with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> he, I said, oh, shit. The nigga you was with. The nigga I'm with, right? And his homeboy is bigger than pun. This nigga ran faster than I've ever seen a nigga run. Huh? I'm talking about that nigga. He old school. He had pews. Right? That nigga had pews. He, so he left you. Pews. I'm like, bro, we in London. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. I'm like, oh, my God. He didn't hit this nigga. This nigga face busted, all kind of shit. I'm like, oh, my God. This nigga. I'm like, swear, I thought you was good. It's in my head, though. So everybody run, I swear. And this is not my tough guy side of the story. I swear to God, this is how I went. I'm still walking. Everybody didn't run. In my mind, I'm like, shit, it is what it is. I felt like you already got your rocks off. You hit the nigga you wanted to hit. What you want to hit me for? Yeah. Well, you tell him that? No, this in my mind. It's all, right. it's all subjective thinking, right? I'm about to say, yeah, this ain't gangster. I'm just objectively speaking, right? All right, all right. So I'm walking. He like, you from here? I'm from America, man. He said, Yankee. Thank you. I'm looking at the, the shadow. That nigga swing. Whew, I hear. All I hear. <laughs> <laughs> that, shit go, that, shit go, that shit go by my head, man. I duck like Barry Sanders, bro. And I swear to God on my mama, if I would have clocked in at the 40, I would have made the NFL. <laughs> would have made the NFL 4-1. Oh I would have hit a 4-1. <laughs> And ear was so shit. Damn. Where did you, where did you oh to? Listen, God. this is how the story go crazy. So, just so Sway Homeboy was at that gas station. Yeah. Sway Homeboy was at the gas station. So when we, I think I ran, I outran the car. Huh? Yeah. Like them cars were slow out there. Like I was gone. Huh? I swear to God, they would have game. I would have been starting for the Raiders. It been a different lifestyle. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, he pulled up. He said, "Get in." <laughs> Nigga, I. Dove through the window. Like, I don't even know this nigga, cuz. I dove through the window. Half scared, half laughing. I'm in tears laughing because this nigga hit this nigga so hard. He's still back there tripping, right? We get to the studio. His partner, this nigga, looked at like Ida BC from The Wire. From, uh, I mean, from uh, Oz. He had his beanie to the side and everything. He said, Wait, this way. <laughs> they like Nigerian or Ghanaian. They sound like that. Where is way? Man, that nigga outside, man, got hit all in it. He got what? Man, I told him don't come to the. Oh, man, this nigga pulled out a machete this long. I said, You finna cut a nigga? No guns? <laughs> don't, nah. we, don't, we don't have guns here. 
We don't have guns here. Mm. And that nigga walked back down to the gas station. That shit's the funniest shit in my life, my yeah, nigga. It it's a story that I'll never forget, my nigga, because it was like in London. And it just let me know. I felt like quick in London. It's just like Compton. It's just like Compton. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's crazy. It's no, just that's like Compton. Hey, it's really I, like that. Don't niggas say Yankee? Yeah, no, I've never been there, but I heard that, that nigga, they carry blades on them blades, at all times. And, all they, and they throw acid on fools, too. Blades. That nigga they said. Wait, they throw acid? Yeah. Acid. They carry acid and burn you with chemicals. That yeah. nigga said Yankee? Yeah. I said, man, I'm, I'm from America. It's I had blades at all times. America, man. That's crazy. I, I still to this day, like, I want to interview Sway. Because I end up seeing him years later. <laughs> Nigga, Sway is still running right now. Listen, bro. I, he I, in Alaska somewhere at the uh, Bush, <laughs> he at the Bush Academy right now. He hiding. I, I, end up, I end up seeing this nigga the on the BET Awards, and he won, like, International Artist Award. And I was like, oh, that's the nigga that got slapped, cuz. <laughs> so I'm like, I want to interview him. And was just like, bro, what was y'all beef? Like, what did you do to make these? Because you seem like a hell of a guy. You were a gentleman. You was cool as fuck. He was super cool. But I just like, why well, would make a nigga want to do that to you? Yeah, you. Is this the nigga right here? That nigga said, Is this way? On my mama, that's it. Oh, shit. Hey, 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 the motherfucking internet is undefeated. 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 Yeah. Found that nigga. That's, hey, yeah, that fast right, found him. Like, hey, right, I just put Sway London rapper. He was popping. <laughs> he was a nigga, but nigga won like international artist. That nigga looked like he was still nervous. My nigga, listen. <laughs> he didn't want to be there no more. Listen, my nigga, that nigga hit that nigga, and I just was like, I felt sorry for him. I was like, damn, bro, this nigga was a good nigga, bro, but you did something. When that nigga seen me, he said, and nigga said, no, no, man, I'm good, man. He was like, no, no, man, I'm good, man, I'm good, man. It's me, man. It's, it's Sway. He said, it's like life froze. Yeah. Life went like, here. Nigga said, sweat? Sweat? He said, it's an even bigger leg. Nigga said, <laughs> they said he you? looked like Sean Kingston. <laughs> like Sean Kingston. <laughs> no said, way uh, too beautiful. Girl. That nigga said, you sweat? He was like, oh, I got one. He had a bad nigga. Oh, my God. That nigga talk, man. That nigga. Imagine game banging with just with just knives all day. Oh, that's, that's how And machetes and shit. And backpacks. It's all, everybody can't oh, That nigga got scary. here with a backpack. Man, that nigga, that whatever funny. he had in that bag, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> that was funny. They use anything handheld, bricks, that blades. Hit that nigga yeah. so hard, and all the blood just went like, it was like, nigga. Damn. It was like blood sport. He looked at like John Van Damme yeah. after he got hit. Hey, uh, 